all right fellow hobbyist welcome back to my channel I hope everyone's doing well so today I'm going to share some videos about flower horn grooming one of the uh, effective ways to groom your flower horn and let their potential really come out is using a parrot fish yes right here I'm preparing some parrot fish and I'm gonna show you in a couple of minutes how to do this and what are the things to consider okay so I also have this uh, flower horn as you can see he's really too shy just staying in the corner so this one needs grooming so I prefer to use uh, this flower horn in doing that okay so first thing to consider is I should have a uh, enough tank a uh, tank that has enough space for your flower horn to chase around this parrot fish okay so that your parrot fish won't get a lot of uh, uh, too much damage yes, we can avoid it will be a biting that's going to happen you know so okay let's do this I'm gonna put this one now okay let's see how this shy flower horn react okay so to give a little bit more time for them to interact you need to observe because in some cases it turns the other way around it's the parrot fish that um, damaging or harming your flower horn so you need to uh, stay for a while and observe uh, and then if you ask how long should I let them do this uh, grooming thing okay I'm going to put this uh, parrot for like 30 to 1 hour okay so he's still staying there let's wait I hope um, this will turn out good because um, some parrots are really aggressive. Okay, there it is. Okay. So this is it. It's a good sign. Okay. It's showing some aggressiveness now coming out from its hiding spot so how often we do this I'm doing this twice a week three to two times a week okay for 30 minutes to an hour it depends on uh, your flower horns aggressiveness some flower horns are really aggressive it will um, beat up your parrot fish can beat up your parrot, parrot fish in just a few minutes so you need to look after the parrot fish we don't let the parrot fish get beaten up I mean getting a lot of damage it could cause them to die so we're just using them for a few hours an hour the most in my case cannot let them stay for two days or more that's for sure those parrot fish will die so as you can see oh, it's interacting now with the parrot fish so hopefully it will help its uh, potential to come out I'm pretty sure it will my own experience you know Oh, we still have a few parrots here. I'm gonna show you some of my flower horns that I'm about to groom. Okay. Next is this um, golden base over here. So let's put this one. Let's see. All right. Go, buddy. So this one's not so aggressive, so I decided to groom it. Okay, there it is. 
So as you can see, they're almost uh, it's the same size. So that's what I'm telling you. Um, some parrots are, I mean, um, aggressive, but this one is showing some. Um, here with this one so see oh it's really aggressive so in this case uh, you need to observe like 30 minutes and that's enough okay uh, chasing around if you're going to let this um, happen for more than 30 minutes or an hour um, this parrot fish will really get more damage and it's not a good thing to happen okay it will really help the flower horns to develop more colors and develop those cocks all right let's proceed and we got this young one over here little bit shy and I'm about to introduce him this one okay buddy Here we go okay mm -hmm. all right this is a good sign the parrot is not too aggressive And our flower horn is showing some aggressiveness, okay? See? Wiggling its tail. Trying to intimidate parrot fish. That's it. It's a good sign. And our parrot is more relaxed. He's not scared of this one. This one is really trying to intimidate him. And after an hour, I think an hour will be good for this pair. I'm gonna take out this parrot fish and do it again after next three days. See? It's really showing some uh, aggressiveness now, letting the parrot, letting him know that it's my territory, it's his territory. Why are you here? Okay, let's move on. Okay, next is this one, showing some calmness. That's aggressive. Are you ready, buddy? Okay, meet your pair. So let's put it now. There it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, there it is. He's trying to intimidate now. <laughs> this little thing here. Uh -huh. It's not biting, but still, you need to um, observe. Look after for a few minutes. So this way of grooming your flower horn will develop aggressiveness and it could lead to uh, the development of uh, your flower horns hump or what we call cocks. Based on my experience this one is uh, this one's cock is not too big but hopefully in the next few months it will develop more cocks and colors so if you notice that the parrot is not aggressive well that's a good sign because really in some cases it's the parrot that harms the flower horns especially when the parrot is bigger the 
this one it's a good pair so hopefully this video helps you and uh, flower horn grooming so if you'd like to groom your flower horns you can uh, use this uh, way use a flower I mean parrot fish if you have one if you don't have one